Hey what's up guys, this video we're going to be taking a look at setting up TSM4 mailing options. I'm also going to go over creating a vendor group so you can easily vendor the junk from your transmog run. It might take a few minutes to get everything set up, but once you do it will definitely save you a lot of time. Just think about this, you just finished your transmog run, your bags are full, you have some awesome transmog, but you also have a lot of junk that needs vendored. Now what if you can have all the good stuff sent to the correct tunes, and then all your junk vendored, all with just a few clicks. Sure you can get another add-on that'll auto-vendor the gray items, but what about your white quality items, even some of your green quality items that you just want to vendor? Uh, no need for really another add-on anymore, you can do all this with TSM4. Let's start off with creating some mailing operations. Using mailing operations, it'll help us send the items to the correct tunes that we want to. For example, let's say we want to send all of our cloth to our tailor, all of our ore to our blacksmith, or even all of our transmog to the tune that sells the transmog on the AH. You can set all this up with TSM4. You go to the mailbox, you hit one, one button, and then it's sent to all those different tunes. So let's go ahead and get with it. You open up TSM4 by typing the command in the chat, which is slash TSM. And from here we want to click on Operations. Over here on the left side is our different categories. Uh, today we're going to be dealing with mailing and vendoring. We're going to start off with mailing. I already have a couple operations set up, but we're going to go through one so you can see. Okay, so in mailing, you just click on Add, and that'll start you a new operation. It'll say New Operation 1. You click on that. First, we're going to uh, go ahead and name our operation. I like to name my operation just the name of my tune that I'm going to be sending this item to. This tune's going to be Catfish. So we change the title and then uh, the next line down, Target Character. This is where we're going to send the items to. So I'm going to name it the character. Uh, it has some other options. Uh, I really don't fool with some of the other options, but you can get more detailed into what it is that you're doing. I'll go over a couple options with you. Uh, keep this amount. This mainly, um, let's say you have a bunch of cloth. Let's say you want to keep one stack, so 200 on your tune, but you want to send everything else to something else. So th this is what, what that's for. Maximum quality, if you want, only want to send a certain amount, say you only want to send 200, no matter what amount of cloth you get, you only want to send 200, that's where you would add that in. Uh, on down, uh, if you want to ignore this operation on certain, certain faction realms, uh, if you want to ignore this on certain characters, I want to ignore this on the tune that I'm sending it on. I don't want to send myself items. If I do have um, items in my bag, that's going to go to the same character. Yeah, so that's it. That's all it takes for that. Okay, so from here we want to add these mailing operations to our groups. We already have some groups laid out. Uh, we have, let's just go with the uh, Legion Raw Mats. For my example, I have ore, herbs, and cloth. Also has some transmog, and then I have some items that I'm going to be vendoring as well that I just want to be done with just a single click. First, I want to click on cloth. This has both cloths from Legion. Under group operations, it has everything that says default. I don't have anything added on this group yet. This is just a fresh group just installed. So we want to go to mailing. Of course, we do want to override, and all my cloth is sent to this character. And let's see here, all my ore that I have, I go under mailing. I want to send to that character. All my herbs. Also want to send to that character because he's also my alchemist. Going down here, I have a transmog group. This is where we're going to put all of our transmog operation in. And we'll click on override if it's not clicked already. And select my tune for transmog. Okay, so so far we created the operations 
and then we also assign the operations to the groups uh, that we're going to be doing today. So now it's pretty much good to go if I click on groups in the mailbox. Let me start back over. Click on the mailbox. Click on groups. These are the items here that I have currently set up that's going to be mailed to different uh, characters. Cloth, ore, herbs, and then transmog. So these ones we, we just set up. So if I click mail selected groups, it's going to mail all these that I have selected. I want to hold off on that just for one second. Um, the next thing I want to do is is add all the transmog items to the transmog group. So let's pretend that I just come back from a transmog run. Uh, I have these items here that I got drops and then also have some junk. So we want to go into TSM again slash TSM in your chat. I'm going to go to groups and we're going to click on transmog. So you have all these items through here. Now instead of going through and selecting each one manually what you can do is you go to filter and what we're going to put in the filter as far as what the minimum gold amount and what the maximum gold amount so when I do my transmog I don't want to sell I don't want to fool with anything under 400 gold so let's go slash 400 that's the lowest amount of gold and then now we have to put our maximum amount of gold so we'll just hit slash and we'll just type in a bunch of nines And I forgot to put G after this. Okay, there we go. There's my filter, okay? So now it shows me everything between, this is market value, by the way, everything with the market value of 400 gold up to the maximum that we put in. So from here, now I can just select all of these. And add the items to the group. So now all my transmog is added to the group. Now I'm left with a couple greens that this one's market value is 269. This other one market value 236. So that was under the market value that I typed in for my filter. So what I'm going to do with these, I actually want to send those to my enchanter so that I can get those disenchanted. But first, what we want to do is we now want to create a vendor group. By doing this, whatever goes into this vendor group will end up selling. So to create a new group we go to base group click on the little plus sign that's going to add a new group select a new group and we're going to call this vendor. So from there uh, since this item is items that you're actually going to be selling to the vendor I do recommend instead of using a filter just going through and clicking what you want to be vendor Some of these items you might be able to sell. Um, sometimes you just don't want to fool with it. I'm Broken Claw, I'll keep that. Okay, so here's the items that I do want to vendor. And a lot of times if I'm doing the same transmog run, I'm going to get these items over and over and over again. So I know I, I do want to add these to the group. Next time I won't have to worry about adding those items again. I may have some new items to add, but I won't have to add those again. And at some point you will have everything organized and in different groups to where you don't have to make these groups. But for our first time you do have to go through and set this up. Okay, so just to go over what we have done. We have made our operation group in our mailing. We went to the groups tab and uh, we clicked on cloth or any herbs and we've added the mailing operations for those tunes to those categories. Uh, for our transmog item we used the filter and added the transmog to our transmog group and then we just created our vendor group so we can add the items in our vendor group that we actually want to vendor. Now we have one more operation we need to create and that's is, that is our vendoring operation. So we're going to click on operations again and down here on the vendoring and click on add. Okay, operations and vendoring. We just added new operation and we'll just call this junk. Okay, so we want to ignore the um, enable bind 
we'll turn that off because this is just a selling group not a buying we want to set our keep quantity to zero because we don't want to keep any minimum expires we want to just set that to zero uh, down through here you can get a little bit more detail this group we're just going to be vendor and everything so there's not really a need to set up uh, some of these other values okay so once we have that we're going to go back to our groups we're going to go to vendor group operations we want to add this vendoring operation to this group okay so now junk under vendoring is linked to our vendor okay so now we have everything set up now we actually want to make this work by just clicking on the groups so if you open up your mailing tab we have the inbox send groups and then other so the first step we want to do is when we open up our mailbox we want to click on groups just click on all the groups and I want to mail all these groups so what it should do is mail my transmog and it should mail the cloth, herbs, and ore yep all with just one click remember these two items here was not uh, didn't meet that 400 gold mark so we have those two left so pretty simple just had to uh, after everything is set up now we just have one click and it sends all those to the different tunes that we need to be sent to so now we have our junk that needs vendoring and then we have these two items we want to send to our disenchanter so if you go to the other tab you see here there's two options there's one to mail your disenchants items and then the other one if you want to mail gold my disenchanter I'll type that in and this is going to send all my disenchant now this is just going to send everything that's bind on equip that is not bound to you click on that and so all my disenchanted items are being sent there and now I want to vendor my junk Okay, using the TSM4 UI and we want to go to groups we want to select our vendoring group we don't want to select anything else we want to select our vendoring groups and then we want to sell items in this group by clicking on sell group everything in that group sold Time is of the so that is it uh, that is a, uh, a way to save you some time by having everything set up now in the future when I do my transmog run uh, or if I just have a lot of stuff in my bags I can easily just click click the one button it'll melt all my tunes and then I just go to the vendor and vendor all my junk alright thank you for watching happy gold making